Welcome to the Interacting with Nature series. This week we are talking about butterflies and we happen to be on our pollinator trail. Remember our pollinator trail is going to have 13 stops along the conservation trail and it goes to the 19th. During this time from 10 to 12, Monday through Saturday, we will have education stations up. Our first education sta station is with all the flutter butterflies. At this station, we have a small butterfly enclosure for you to view butterflies in. And then Fran is set up with host plants. Um, she has milkweed to sell. She has caterpillars in a cup. And she also has um, chrysalis to sell like she normally would during our butterfly exhibit. And we have Fran Masters here. She is of all of Flutter Butterflies. And she usually um, is the one that um, allows us to sell caterpillars as well as chrysalis um, to the public um, through her business, All of Flutter. Um, we're going to talk about the butterfly itself today and not focus on anything else. Um, but the butterfly, and we're going to do, if Fran does a little twirl, we can tell that Fran is a monarch butterfly and just for fun, she does have the monarch caterpillar on her shoulder, um, which doesn't ride around with the butterfly normally, but it is a nice shot there. But when we look at the butterfly, we're looking at the monarch butterfly, and the monarch butterfly has wings, of course, to fly. The wings are similar to a kite. It has that type of network in it. And we can tell from the monarch just by looking at it, if it's a boy or a girl. And looking at Fran's wing, she is a girl. And the reason why I say that is when we look at the, these wings, this is a boy. And the reason why we can tell from these wings is it has a dot here and it has a dot over on the other side. Those dots happen to be the pheromone patches. So as it's flying around, it's sending its scent out to the female butterflies saying, hey ladies, here I am. And the females usually don't really give a care about where the male is until they are ready to mate and lay eggs. Otherwise, they're just going from flower to flower. Okay, so Fran, go ahead and turn around here for me. So if you notice, um, Fran has red things on the ends of her feet. Now, a butterfly is an insect, so it does have six legs. So we are going to say Fran's legs are two, and then we're going to say there's two that hang underneath her um, arms, which are the middle legs, and then she has two, not really attached to the wings before the costume, yes, but she has two, her other two, which makes six, um, in the front, and on those um, feet, she has red things. Those red things are actually tongues. Now, do they have tongues on the ends of their feet? No, but they do have taste buds. So everything that the butterfly lands on, the butterfly is tasting. So just kind of think about that. Every time you see a butterfly land on something, it is actually tasting what it's landing on. Now as we look at Fran, we can see that she has um, these waffle, waffle eyes, and so insects do have these eyes. They're called compound eyes, and these compound eyes, if you notice, there's a whole bunch of eyeballs on it. That's perfect. The butterfly just flew by. Um, <laughs> has a whole bunch of eyeballs on it. Now that doesn't mean that um, the butterfly has a whole bunch of eyeballs. But it does tell you that when it looks at something, it sees a whole bunch of one thing. So not only does it see a whole bunch of one thing, butterflies also see in neon colors. So when it's looking at this flower here, it's seeing um, orange, but neon orange. And it's seeing that and viewing it. And it's not just seeing one, it's seeing several of them. If you've ever looked through a kaleidoscope, it's kind of the same thing as a compound eye. So the kaleidoscope, when I'm looking through it, I don't just see one of something, I see many, um, many fractures of that. 
so she has her antenna and butterflies do have antennas on the top of their head and if you notice these antennas have something that looks like a nose that's right they don't have noses sticking up out of their antennas but a lot of butterflies if you look at them has has a ball and that little ball is what they smell with so many times when a butterfly lands you can see it doing this with its antenna and it is smelling so it's tasting with its feet it's smelling with its antenna and then the next thing it wants to do is it wants to drink now you notice that Fran has something sticking out of her mouth that's right a butterfly does not have a mouth it has something that looks kind of like a straw and what happens is that straw curls up under its chin very similar to a party fever which we're going to be using and this is called a proboscis and what happens is that she's going to fly around she's going to see not one flower a whole bunch of flowers when she lands on that flower she's tasting that flower and after she tastes it butterflies don't eat they only drink and she's going to take that proboscis stick it down into that nectaring plant and drink the nectar from it as well as take pollen and put it on her proboscis which she'll spread to another plant the next one that she goes to so the proboscis allows her to drink as well as when she goes to another plant allows her to help with the pollination factor so just as a review a butterfly has wings it has six legs it has an antenna that it smells with eyes that see neon colors compound eyes which doesn't just see one thing but a whole bunch of things a proboscis to drink with it has six legs on those six legs at the ends of them are their taste buds that they taste things with and then they have their um, wings that they fly around with now a lot of people think that those middle wings are a little useless now since uh, or not middle wings middle legs are a little useless and if we remember Fran is a female butterfly so female butterflies lay eggs and so what she would do is she would find a host plant now if you've noticed I've said two different words I've said nectar and I have said host so a nectar plant is where the butterfly drinks from all right a host plant is where that butterfly lays her eggs now imagine if you had a favorite food and when you were little your mom put you right in the middle of your favorite food well that's exactly what the butterfly does because that caterpillar is going to eat 24 7 to go through everything that's going to do so she will come up to this plant she will take her middle legs and she will play the drum on that leaf now by doing that it tells her is there a bunch of eggs here is there a predator here should I go somewhere else and if those questions are all answered and she feels okay then she will then lay her egg on the underside of that plant to begin the process of the life cycle of a butterfly unfortunately this year of course we can't have the enclosure um, due to space so <clears throat> We, um, I brought the smaller enclosure so that you can at least get a look at a few different butterflies. There's a monarch here. This one with a, a wing that looks like an old dead leaf. That's a, 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 a question mark butterfly. It has a little marking on the side of its wing that if you come visit us, I'll show you what that means. I have some plants here for them to nectar on. Here's an eastern black swallowtail. If you can see the pretty blue on the wings. This is a milkweed plant. These are nectar plants. And these are nectar plants. So you've got a host slash nectar plant. You've got nectar, 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 which is what they need right now. Um, so, you know, come and visit us and see the butterflies. Um, here we are at the uh, butterfly table. 
These are uh, caterpillars, uh, monarch caterpillars. They're eating on milkweed. When I feed them in the cages, I just uh, cut off pieces of milkweed plant and put them in there. Um, they eat on that until they're ready to become a butterfly. Then they hang in the top and they jay. And then once they <clears throat> have jayed for several days, they will become a chrysalis. They will hang upside down, shed their skin, and what's underneath the skin is what you see right here, this green chrysalis. This one's very new, it's still drippy. So over here, we had, I had a cup full of eggs. Well, now we seem to have a cup full of tiny larvae. Can you see that one on there? There, getting in the sunshine. Okay, so he's eating, this is a little different kind of milkweed, but I'm going to transfer these over to the common milkweed. There's much more leaf factor to those. Here, um, <clears throat> I have some plants to sell, courtesy of uh, Eric Sachs, and he brought them here, so he, he raises the plants at home. I do also, but it's just easier if he brings them. He's got really great plants. The plants are for sale. You can purchase a plant with caterpillars on, as it, and as you notice, this one is jaying in the top. This one has one that's eating and growing. And <clears throat> we also have uh, Painted Ladies. If you visited my web, or uh, my Facebook page, Olive Flutter Butterflies, uh, Fran LaMasters, you will find on there, this is a cup with three caterpillars in it on food, and there's a little sponge in the bottom in a cup for a feeding station, and you get the habitat, you get everything is involved in that. Um, or you can just purchase a single cup of caterpillars. Also, we have different types of chrysalis. This happens to be a swallowtail chrysalis. Let me open it so you can see it a little bit better. And they will be emerging in these uh, pyramids, and they'll do just fine in there. So this is, this is what we do. We talk about butterflies. I have my microscope ready so we can look at some fun things. And, uh, you know, come on out. It's great fun.